here's another measurement we can make. And this is a coin cell, a CR2032. This one I don't think is dead. You can get the code number. Um, this is the kind of watch battery or, or low current cell that goes into um, little appliances or little things. And the chemistry of this, because it's for low current, it has a natural high internal resistance even though it's not a dead battery. So we'll try a measurement of this. Let me set the decade box up t to the highest again, 9,999. And we'll plug this into the circuit. And the first thing I'll do is just connect. Oh, actually, here, let me disconnect the, the decade box because we want V0 without any resistance at all. This is just the raw voltage measurement. And I'd say I'm looking at it straight on 3.00 volts, which is the nominal value for this kind of cell. So this is a fresh one. We'll disconnect while we're wiring. I'll connect in 9,999 9 ohms. And when I reconnect, yeah, it's just a shade under three. Can you see that? A little darker. Let's lower the volt, the, uh, the, the uh, resistance in parallel to the box. 8,000, 7,000, 6,000, 5,000, 4,000, 3,000, 2,000, and we're still at 2.9 something. I'd say 2.93. I gotta worry about parallax with this camera. You know, now it's about 2.90. It's been running for a little while. Let me disconnect. Let the chemical reaction recover. I don't know what the time is, but we'll give it a rest. And two point nine volts for one thousand nine hundred and ninety-nine ohms, so we're really going down. Let's go down to zero nine 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 hundred and ninety-nine ohms. Nine hundred and ninety-nine ohms were at about two point eight five. See, this is a very different reading. 800, 700. Now we're making some progress here. I'm going down to see if I can get a notch. I think I can. Seven hundred ohms and two point eight volts. Can you see that? It's probably hard for you to read. Six hundred ohms, five hundred ohms, four hundred ohms, three hundred ohms was too much. So now we'll go up. Three hundred and forty ohms takes me to two point seven volts. Three hundred, two hundred and forty, two hundred and thirty gets me to two point six volts. One hundred and thirty, forty, fifty, sixty. One hundred and seventy gets me to two point five volts. This camera. I don't worry about parallax. 70 volts, 60, 50, 40. I'll do one more. 50, too much. 40, too little. 40. No. 
fifty. And I think oh, it's dropping. I'm going to let the cell rest. I think we're draining the cell because it can't keep up. That chemical reaction in there is just a slow chemical reaction. So we'll let it rest. Come back. I don't know how long, but we'll see. Let's try this again. Yeah. 160. Let's call it 150. 150 ohms gives 2.4 volts. Hopefully that's enough data that we can figure out the internal resistance of this coin cell.